Yeah, it looks like they, they barely broke sweat, doesn't it? 19 games unbeaten in the Champions League now for Bayern uh, and looking good again this season. I'm just reading the comments from Simone and Zaghi, the Lazio coach after the game, saying some teams are unplayable. Bayern are one of them. It felt a little bit like Lazio knew the game was up pretty early in this tie. Yeah, like a 4-1 deficit. You're playing... Not that playing away makes a huge difference, but there's certainly no home comforts about it. Um, the fact that Immobile didn't start the match was an indication. They didn't come on the match either. That they were holding them for something else, that they felt it was already done. And, um, you know, I, I, unless they did something very dramatic in the first half, which they did in once Lewandowski scored a penalty, that was it. Let's have a look at that uh, penalty then. Remind me of yourself in the World Cup back in 2002, Anders Frisk and all that. Yeah, you have a good memory. His referee's <laughs> right on it, and, and you can see... You know, he, he spots it. The, the, the break of the Bayern players is what caused the trouble. And, and you can see how, how how stupid a decision it is. They're just confused by the break and the run of the uh, the three Bayern players. I mean, of course, Lewandowski steps up and, and fools the goalkeeper, scores a great penalty. But it's um, it's hard enough against Bayern. And when people, uh, you know, that you trust and rely on to do things right don't and they give away a penalty. Especially when he's around. Like, if he steps yeah. up to take a penalty, you just don't think he's ever going to miss, do you? No, well, he, I mean, he, he, has, he hasn't been as prolific in the Champions League this year. I think that's only six. But what he... Yeah, he, 39th that, of the season. He's, yeah, though. he's 32 <laughs> goals in the league. I mean, it's, it's phenomenal stuff. And he might be only winding up for the knockout rounds. There used to be a bit of a criticism mm. of him in recent seasons that he, he, he only scored in the easy matches and then when it came to the knockout ones he didn't but I think last season he proved the doubters wrong and this year he may continue that way he's still as sharp as attack and he's chasing down Gert Muller for the single season Bundesliga record which is 49 40. years uh, in the, go in the 40 standing goals 40 goals too, isn't it? He's on 8 behind him 9 games to go didn't bet against him getting it um, let's have a look at the second goal then Damien in commentary was certainly very effusive about the pass for this yeah well they've made a lot of changes this stage look where all of it is he, he started the match at centre half now in an advanced position beautiful pass through chipper mounting on getting a a rare opportunity. Again, I think they're holding players towards it because they've only got a couple of points lead on RB Leipzig in the lead. Takes the goal very well. Two straight passes through the middle and Lazio wide open. They made a lot of mistakes on the goals mm. over the two games. Very good finish, easy finish, comfortable win. Ch Chupa moting from Stoke to Paris to, to Bayern. Maybe another Champions League final on the way. We'll see how well, the draw goes. he didn't goes. get a winner's medal last That's year. He's true. deserving of a winner's <laughs> <It's>, medal. <laughs> he might get it this year, though. Um, one little black mark against him, though. That's now seven consecutive games in which they've conceded for all their dominance in most of those games. Yeah. Little bit of a chink in the armour yeah, at I, the back. And Lazio got their goal. Yeah, I agree. And uh, new Newbell was in goal tonight, he got a run and he made a very good save as well to keep it to one. A couple of chances uh, as well. Yeah, just probably not the right decision to, to head that straight into uh, Newbell's arms, but um, just, yeah, you, you, you feel they're, they're, they're not invincible at the back, that's for sure. I mean, Neuer there makes a big difference, of course, and, and he sometimes clouds over what can be risky stuff. You can see Sule just stepped up there with his hand up and flag didn't go up, eventually it was uh, given as an offside. You can see he just steps up and, and Newell does probably what uh, Neuer, who you expect from Neuer, makes himself big. How many saves have we seen Neuer make like that? So he's learning from the master. And here's uh, the goal then, Marco Parolo, 36 years old. Yeah, I mean, Pavard goes asleep at the far post. It looks as if it's going out of play, but he keeps going, believes that it's coming to him, keeps his eye on the ball. It can be difficult coming over people like that and you're wondering, is it going to come to you? And uh, are they going to flick it or not? But he kept his eye on it and put it in the net. He did well, smile on his face. It's a good goal for him to get. And I think they acquitted themselves really well tonight, Lazio. I was a bit worried for them. Yeah, honourable. Yeah, honourable. Very honourable. Well, one other little uh, thing I've heard mentioning in the debit column for Bayern is maybe not quite the strength and depth that a Man City have who can nearly change their whole team. So, I mean, the likes of Chupa Motting mightn't get in Man City's yeah, bench. But I, 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 Is that a criticism? That, I think that's fair enough, but I think as it goes on the tournament, we'll see their best players playing. Sula come into them. I come on in the match tonight. Martinez come on in the match tonight. Davies come on in the match tonight. They've got three, for the wide positions, they've got three great players. The centre-forward, Lewandowski, mm. who plays instead of him, is, is they promoting their only option. That would be the concern for them. Whereas Manchester City, that doesn't matter. They don't play a centre-forward anyway. Jesus and Aguero yeah. are on the bench so it's not an issue for them it might be more of an issue for, for Bayern Munich centre forwards are old hat aren't they you know <laughs> <Go on. laughs>